Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So now uh, from this video owners, we will learn how we can visualize the data. First, uh, we will explore all these visualizations under this category. First, we will start with these bar charts. There are six type of bar charts we have. Stack bar chart, stack column chart, cluster bar chart, clustered column chart, 100% stack bar chart, 100% stack column chart. So we'll explore one by one. Okay. For that purpose, I'm going to import the superstore data sets. So uh, here you can observe, I have already imported this superstore data set. First, I will start with this stack bar chart. Okay. Just click on this and click on this category. Then this is sales is our measure value. By default, it has some summarizations. It's a summation. That means a total sales value. So this is a stack bar chart. Now it has the category that is in the axis level, but in the legend level, we don't have anything. Let us select the SIP mode into the legend section. Now we can observe this stack bar chart, how it has been implemented with these three criteria. Okay. So that means category, zip mode and sales value. Now if you select this bar chart, you can go to this format section and you can format everything. For example, legend is it is in the topmost position. You just select that. You can put it under bottom center. Also, if you want, you can just switch up this title. Also, you can change the text size, everything, all the properties. Some more properties you can change in the Y axis. You can change the text value. Also in the X axis, you can change the properties. For example, it is showing 0, 0.0 million. So by default, it's an auto format. Uh, I'm just selecting on the thousands. It is showing 0k or if you have just selected none then it will come the, all the values so in this way you can uh, format this chart based on some data color some data label all the properties you can explore so this is a stack bar chart let us click on this stack column chart in the stack column chart also i'm selecting this category in the axis field cells in the value field and chip mode in the legend field. So this is your column stack column chart. Let us click on this cluster bar chart. For cluster bar chart, I will also select the category, chip mode, and sales value. You can observe how this data has been displayed. So this is in the cluster format. Let us select this cluster column chart. And the sales value. So this is the cluster column chart. So based on your customer requirement, you can select any type of bar chart format. Okay. For example, if you have some requirement, like in the X axis, you have to display the date, um, the month column or week column. Okay. So for month and week, and you have to represent one year data. So for that, the X axis will be a bigger size. So for that purpose, it will be better to select this column chart instead of this bar chart format. Because user, that will be more user friendly if you select on this column chart format. Now I will show you how 100% stack bar chart and 100% stack column chart are behaving. Before moving to that bar chart option, if you can observe here, we are getting the total sales value. Okay. So this is the total number uh, or decimal field. Okay. Numerical. So it's not the percentage one. Now I will show you if you select this 100% uh, stack bar chart, and uh, just select this sales value category and ship mode 
Here you can observe the sales value is there and within the bucket we are getting the percentage. That means for this technology, okay, for this 100% value, okay, for the first class we have 16.67 percentage amount, for this have 7.19 percent data and for this uh, second class we have 17.01 and for this one standard class we have 59.13. Now when you are representing to a customer you can explain that for technology for ship mode standard class the sales value percentage is 59.13 percent okay so that means in this way you can demonstrate the report to your users. So this is the a stack bar chart format and in the similar way you can represent in a column bar chart format. Here also I am selecting category, sales and ship mode. Just a representation has been changed. It is in a column mode and it is a bar mode. If you just select this graph and you can very well change all the properties. Just explore uh, all the properties whenever you are practicing this bar graph. Okay, I hope from this video you are able to understand how these six type of bar chart we can create in Power BI. Thank you. Thanks for watching.